In this video, we will make our report look better, or at least a little. So what I will do is I will take this table and let's do some changes. So I will click here and instead of managing the data I want to display, I want to change the style. So on a style, I could choose, for instance, okay, I want to wrap this text. And I also want to change the rouse colors. So I would like to use this and add this color. Oh, perfect. Now the background, I don't like this background. I would like to use a different color. So I will click here in an empty space. I am not clicking any visualization and I will go to customize. And in customize, I am able to change the fonts, for instance. So instead of Roboto, I like, nobody likes this one, <laughs> actually. I am looking for Montserrat, which is a default good one. Perfect. Now we change the style of this report, but the background, I don't want it to be white because white is like everything. So I would like to choose this cherry one. Sorry for that. We will change this. I will change it to this gray. Okay, this is quite more decent. Now, the, let's do some changes. What about if we change the style of this table again? So I will click here and I will go to style and I will change that I want to have a shadow to cover this table. So in the bottom of the styling options, I will go to add border shadow. That's one thing. I also want to add a border radius. So instead of zero, 10 looks great. And let's see how it looks. Okay, this is, this is not beautiful, but it is different. So I will make it a little bit smaller because I want our visualizations to also be here. So I will make it small. And here we have. Okay, I also want my users to manage the data. I want to make this dashboard interactive, so I will add some filters. In this case, I will add a filter and I can go here and choose a drop down list or a input box. In this case, I will choose a drop down list. So now they can display the ad name, but I don't want to choose a that name. I would like to use publisher platform. With this dimension, I can break down my data by Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, or all the platforms Facebook ads offers or displays ads. So this is an option. And also I will control C, control V, and I will also add device. I want to break down this data by device. Now let's add some personality to this dashboard. So I will go to insert and I will insert a rectangle right here and I will add it right here and I will make it white. Great. Our dashboard is currently boring already. I don't want to make it more boring. So I will make it white and I will add a shadow, but I am covering the elements I had put before. So I will click here, right click, and I will order and we'll send it to back. And here we have a margin or something to present our data so users can interact with this. But there is something else. I can go to insert and I can display an image. So I will add an image here and I will add our logo. So here and select file. And in this case, I will choose Porter logo. Oh, it looks so ugly, but anyways, I will make it a little bit smaller and now we have a report with some styling. I will add some other charts so we can change the, their styling too. So I will add insert and I will add a scorecard and I will add it here. And let's do something. I will teach you something very nice. So I have the amount of impressions. This data works. It is good enough for me. So I will control C, control V and I'll, I will add three more of this or two more of this. Now I want to change the style of them. So I will click in this first option and instead of impressions, I will choose clicks. And I want to add some styling. So I will make this a little bit bigger here. And in the style, I will go to background. So I want to add a white background. I will also want to add a 10 margin to have a margin of 10 to have the same style, a shadow, and I think this will work. This is how it looks like. Now I want to change the type of visualization. I don't want to use a scorecard. I want to use a time series, but I will show you a different time series. 
So I click here and instead of chart and scorecard, I can use this drop down and choose this chart. And I will show you how it looks like. It turns out that it is a tiny or a small time series. So I will make it a little bit smaller. Perfect, it works, but for this case, I will remove the shadow and the background. So I will go to style. And on the style, I will remove the shadow and the background should be transparent. This looks okay. It looks nice, but I don't want to repeat the same process with these charts. So what should I do? I will do this. Control C and instead of Control B, you will do a right click here and you will do a paste special, paste style only. And you can also paste styles. I will do this again. Paste style only. And we are doing the same. Let's do it with the table to see how it works. Paste special and let's see how it changes. It changes a little, so it works. It is decent. Now you know how to add a style and how to change it fast but I will show you a last trick. In this case, I will click here in a blank space and I can change the layout and customize the general styling. When I go to customize, you can see that I have themes for my report. So if I change to this one, let's see how it looks like. Okay, it changes the style, but I don't like it at all. The first one is okay, let's test another one. And I think it is okay, but I will do something else. I will go to portrait metrics and I like these colors because they are good. So I will choose an image to pick these colors. And what I will do is that I will go to untitled report and I will go here where it says extract theme from image. So click here, upload from computer and I can choose on desktop. I will see the screenshot here and let's see how it looks. Now you can see that it offers some options based on the colors of the screenshot I made. So you can easily change your report to have a style similar to your website or to your brand. In this case, I will change it to this option. And it changes somehow a little bit. And this is way better than we had initially. And this is how you can change your styles. I will show you some things until we are done. So I will go here. I will click here in a blank space and I will go to layout and on layout. There are many things I can do, but I want to show you this. You can change the size of your canvas and report. This is too small. So I will make it a little bit larger. That's terrible. Now that's a little bit better, but I will keep it as this. Okay. That works. And I will make it a little bit smaller. So too small. Perfect. <laughs> okay, this, this works. I will choose all these objects and I will make them a little bit larger. And that's it. We are almost done. I will show you one more thing. So I will make this rectangle here and here. I guess that you don't have time, so you want to repeat the process I just made. So I will show you one more thing. I will choose my logo and I will use command. I am using a Mac but you can choose multiple objects. So I will choose this logo and I will choose this rectangle and this, and I will choose this date filter. And I will show you what we will do with this. Right click and you can make it report level. What is this? I will show you right now. I will go to add a page. And this is the second page and this is the first page, of course. And this page is called welcome. And the second page, as you can see, is bringing the elements I wanted to make report level. So all these elements will show in all our pages. So I don't need to copy and paste them again and again. I will go here and instead of page two, I will make it goodbye. Let's see how it looks like. If I go to the view mode, I can see the two pages, but it is not likely that most users know this drill down. They won't see it. So I will show you one trick. I will go to edit 
and I will go to layout. And on layout, I will make the navigation to display on the left and not on the top. And let's see how it looks like. I will go to view. And once I have this new report view, now users can easily toggle between these pages. And this is the last thing I wanted to show you. This is just the first part of the styling options on Google Data Studio. If you want to learn more, I suggest you to subscribe to our free course so you can learn more tricks. In the next videos, I will show you how to create your own formulas and how to share these reports with your contacts.